everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to talk about a brief description about GeoGebra so first if you don't have GeoGebra installed you just have to head on to your browser and enter this address GeoGebra.org now come to app downloads when you come to app downloads you can scroll down to more downloads if I click on let's say this one GeoGebra will actually detect my PC that it is Windows 10 and give me the setup that I'm looking for but you can come to more downloads that's the appropriate thing to do so now when you come you see GeoGebra scientific calculator graphing calculator geometry cars okay so you can come to classic 6 or classic 5 I recommend classic 5 because it is easier to use and easy to understand classic 6 though is okay but yeah it's better you download classic 5 so when we come to classic 5 you can choose for your machine so this is windows i'm using windows um this one so i can click on it and install it if i'm using mac you can install this and if i'm using linux all right so after clicking on it and installing it oh i've already installed it so i'm, I'm going through that process so you open it so all you need to do is when you open it out this is how it comes so open it big when you open it big the first window that you see here is called the algebra window and this second window that you see is called the what graphic view or the graphic window so if you want to see where these are coming from this come to view and then you see algebra you also see graphics and there's also graphic 2 graphic 2 is the same as the graphic 1 that we know so let me expand it a bit yeah so you can see the same thing right click on it and show the grid you can see the same thing so i can actually close it because i don't need it and the next thing is spreadsheet which you are going to use a lot in most of your things that you do yeah so this spreadsheet you see if i'm on spreadsheet the toolbar here changes if i'm here the toolbar also what changes so you get to know about it this is just a brief introduction and you can also go to view there's a cast window cast window that's where we do calculations so i can i can enter one plus one and to give me the answer that's two to give you the fun the what you type and the answer that is expected and you can see since we are in the cast window the toolbar here also what changes so i can actually delete this so the next thing is um we can actually view other stuff uh, it's fine and the next thing is you can come to options options actually shows rounding so you want to show the number of decimal places of points that you have so when you come across that you'll be able to use this so the next thing is let's look at this tool by here and the first one when you come close to you see a small arrow there you can click on it and you see other menus and for the point to the same thing let's say i click on point i can click on this click on that click on that click on that so when i'm done when i'm done with my point the first thing I need to do is I should go to the selection tool when I click on it. That's it. Before I can do any other thing here. The next thing is uh, this one by default is called line. You can draw line by two points, vertical line. So you can explore this um, to the end. And one most important thing is the slider. I'm going to use it a lot and, and I want to use it to do automations and all other stuff. And most of your projects or work that you want to do will be based on using slider and the next thing is the move graphics view and other stuff zooming yeah and so you can click let's say we click on move so the move you just double click and move this part or another thing is when you move close to the where is the arrow changes or the hand changes to two pointed arrows so when i click and drag up down it means what i'm changing my scale for the y axis alone but when i click this it means i'm changing my scale for the x axis and the next thing is the input bar you enter your function that you want to define so x you see y equals x this is how it looks like but since i entered x gujiba actually name it for me as what f of x but if i don't want gujiba to name it for me i can actually name it myself let's say i enter g of x is equal to x squared let's enter so that's it yeah so you can see i named it myself as g of x and you here yeah, judge by name it for me as of f of x so 
thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel bye and see you next